today we are going to look how to overhaul a non return valve in a steam system so before opening any valves in a steam system the steam system should be completely isolated so now if you see the valve you can see 10k 80 10k 80 is 10k is the pressure rating and 80 is the nominal dia of the valve and here you can see the direction of flow of steam now we are going to open the valve so we opened all the nuts and no steam in the line steam line is completely isolated now we are going to remove it so initially when we remove it will be little bit hard because uh, over a, over a time it keeps on uh, okay now we are trying to open it okay it came out yeah very nicely the valve came out so if you see the description this is your uh, valve this is your valve and this is your valve stem and this is your uh, holding nut tightening nut for the valve and this is your gland packing which uh, don't allow the steam to escape it's like a stuffing box and this is the valve which we use for opening opening and closing so let's open ulta hai na theek hai okay now up on next this is your valve seat this is your valve seat where the valve sits on it and seals the flow the seat seems to be okay we just open the valve to renew the gaskets so we'll do some lapping anyway and i'll show you how to do the lapping and we will remove all those gasket mark and we'll renew a new gasket okay let's see how to do the lapping okay now we are going to overhaul this valve so we need to open the locking arrangement first so both the locking arrangement has been removed see the valve face very clearly and this is your valve stem and this is your valve face now we are going to open the valve okay so now now turn the wheel so that the valve will come out so that it will give more access for your uh, spanner to open the nut now you open the locking nut which is on top of it
वैल इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द वैल बॉडी दिस इज योर वैल एंड दिस इज योर वैल फोल्डिंग अरेंजमेंट दिस इज द स्टेम व्हिच एक्टिवेट्स द वैल अप एंड डाउन सो नाउ वी ओपन दिस वी डू लैपिंग फॉर इट now we are going to do lapping for the valve we apply a coarse compound lapping compound and we do lapping so whenever we do lapping we have to do it equally so that your lapping compound should be equally spreaded on your valve sheet so you get equal face smooth face on the valve sheet so you get face to face seating in a very perfect manner